Uh, yo. What's up, son? Um, before I get into all the depressing, usual crappy things of the week, I just thought I would, uh, you know, I'm getting ready to join, uh, the Brotherhood, uh, the Ball Brotherhood, you know what I mean? Like, that, my hairline is, uh, what this said? Uh, yeah, one of my sides has given up on life, essentially. So, um, <laughs> I had these hats that I, in a way, forgot that I had most of them, well, at least half of them. Um, yeah, so this was like the hat I was going to start wearing to work, so I could cover my headphones up. A little bit small. Don't think I'm going to be wearing my do-rag joint. Uh, yeah. So, this is random. I have laying around. We got, we got a little Yoda, a little baby Yaba. Let's see. I, honestly, I forgot I had most of these because I never go anywhere, so I never actually wear any of my nice clothes. Or even look through things that I have laying around. Patagonia camo hat. I kind of like the other one that I have. It's more bright colorways. Another, I have like the same hat, kind of, but it's in a different colorway. Uh, let's see. Goofy. This is definitely a women's hat, which I don't like her. From the, we from the streets. We from the streets. All right, you know we don't believe in gender when it comes to clothes. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my God! All right, this is a like a pink Patagonia hat. I don't know. I'm wearing a Patagonia shirt. I clearly have a problem. Um, I just thought I'd listen to music because it's gonna help me to just kind of chill out. Um, because I get so anxious about doing these or like trying to make content or footage or have something to say or I don't know I just make myself anxious right this is a terrible hat don't get me wrong trust me I know I've worn it out um, I have worn this before outside in the wild all right <laughs> I'm just showing you know some of my ball brotherhood things that you know I'm gonna have to get ready to use um, all right so it's been a really bad week I won't lie to you it's actually been terrible we're just gonna read from the book um, they put me on the super terrible line where I'm constantly being timed on a screen that I can't see. It's constantly counting down. And, uh, yeah, I can't see it, so I'm constantly having to, like, run up to be able to see it. Um, yeah, so that sucks. Uh, I got, so I pretty much ended up having to sprint from, like, place to place, maybe, like, 100 feet, like, back and forth, like, sprint from position to sprint from position, because I... I can't walk there. I don't have enough time to walk there because, yeah. Um, but there's water and grease and BS on the floor, and I have to carry 50 to 75 pounds. But, like, it's not the weight, like, that doesn't sound that heavy, especially for a big old guy. But, like, the thing is, like, 10 feet by, like, four, it's, like, 10 feet long by four feet wide. So you gotta, like, fold it in three to even be able to, like, you know what I mean? Be able to get it on there, and it's you know, so it's not great. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you gotta fold it in three, pack it on your shoulder to places, all because they have me paired with people who work like uh, dogs. They're Americans and run harder than anyone else on any other shift, um, and we're paid hourly. Uh, we don't get paid per part. Like I, I don't get it. I don't understand why we're running like that, but we dang sure are. Um. I don't know, and then I wrote, <laughs> but I'm scared I'm going to die on this line. Um, all the running and all the stress of everything, it's making my chest hurt. I guess it feels like my chest just hurts. There's like a part of my chest that like starts to kind of like be sore. That just isn't great. So between the stress and the physical effort, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, part of me feels like quitting will kill me. Like, if I quit my job, I'm just killing myself. All this effort that I've done is for what if I just quit? Um, you know what I mean? It was so bad, I wore a hat. Like, I wore, like, a, a wool hat all week. So I could listen to music so I didn't can freak out. Um, yeah, so. It really helps a lot when I'm able to listen to music. Um, even though it's hot as f***ing there. Uh, it's 30 degrees outside, but I'm inside in shorts and a sweet shirt. Sweat, shorts and a t-shirt sweating um <laughs> the ear protection that they give you like the little ear thingies that they give you they cause me to have like blisters on my ears which is awesome like on the inside of your ears which is just so awesome both the kinds that they have um 
And some people don't even wear ear protection, but I've been written up for wearing, like, headphones. And other people don't get written up for wearing headphones. It's just, yeah, it's a little thing, you know. It's really obnoxious, too. I just hate it. Um, yeah. But it's it's eight hours a day. <laughs> um, and it's also crappy that they constantly give uh, 12 hour shifts to uh, the illegal Hondurans because, again, they're paying them like $5 an hour less than me. So they constantly let them get extra, just tons of hours. Like people work 12s, 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 but I don't know anything other than 8. So, yeah, that's annoying. I just put my, yeah, I just put myself in a really gross business, is what it is. Um, I found a house, like a nice house, on the West Virginia border. It's in Ohio, but I'm just short. Um, it was listed for 25, and I only have like 18. Uh, it had a big fence in the backyard, like a huge, like, backyard. It didn't have a basement, that was like the only con that I'd seen at all. But, um, it was clearly just, like, a family. Like, it was a three-bedroom, and it was clearly just, like, a family that, um, was growing out of their space. Uh, and they were just trying to, you know, sell it and move into something bigger. Uh, yeah, there was literally nothing wrong with this house, um, that I could see whatsoever. Uh, they even showed, like, basement pictures and everything. It was, it, not basement, but, like, it was, uh, what do you call it? I think under your house? I can't think of it. Crawl space? Yeah, they showed pictures for a bunch of stuff, so it was actually, like, a legit house that was pretty nice. Um, yeah. I'm getting so close, um, to the, you know, my goal or whatever, I guess, or whatever I hope the goal is. It's just a house, you know, I did, that's 25k or that's 250k, it's, it's, you know, <laughs> it's whatever I can make happen. Um, but that's also a part of the problem, is, like, I'm always car compartmentalizing, um, things to just I'm doing it now or I feel like I have to do it or other people have it harder so like why am I bitching I guess or whatever I, I don't know yeah like I, I'm constantly just like well I mean it's really bad right this second it's everything's really bad and I'm worried I'm gonna have a heart attack right the second and then like at the end of the, if I make it to the end of the day it's like all right well I'm done now so, I don't know um I use my last vacation day uh, for tomorrow, so at least uh, if I do decide to quit, because it's so bad, yo, and it's so just stressful that, like, I could pop at any time and just be like, goodbye, goodbye, because I, you know, I just, it's that bad. I have the possibly worst position, if not, like, one of the worst positions in the entire place, and it sucks. And it's one of those things where it's like, I, only I, there's only a couple people in there who could physically do it, and me being one of them, so it just kind of sucks that I look like me or whatever, I guess. Um, yeah, so using my last vacation day. Uh, and it also won't be like a thing to hold me back from leaving. Like, I, like this week it was super bad, and I was just like, well, you gotta wait, you gotta burn that vacation day. So, like, it won't be no excuses if I decide this place I'm leaving, you know what I mean? Um, my buddy, uh, Jim at work helped me open my hood, because my hood had been stuck, It just, you know, the latch got rusted or whatever, so it was stuck closed, so I just needed him to pull on the, uh, the little thing, uh, while well, I just pulled up on the hood, and it popped up, so that was, that was nice, <laughs> um, oh, I'm heavily addicted to the online world, like, for legitimate reasons and for unhealthy ones. Like, I know if I look around hard enough, I'll find something, like a truck, or I'll find a deal on something that's so good that I almost have to have it, even though I, again, I tend not to look for things that I, I'm only looking at trucks and houses. Like, occasionally I'll pop over something else, and I'm like, oh, yeah, look at that, but, like, I'm not, like, purchasing, I guess. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to avoid it at all costs. Like, I, I want a new wheel, and I want all this other stuff, but, like, I also want to get out of here, so, <laughs> you know. Got to be, like, kind of focused on one thing at a time. But, uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, like, I know I'll find something if I look around long enough, but it also just leads to me, like, endlessly searching on YouTube and, like, uh, Facebook and just trying to find stuff, even though I can never really find anything. Um... 
Let's see. Da -da -da. Oh yeah, where I'm just like endlessly seeking out meaningless things, um, like watching pet videos online or just stupid things, because I don't know, it caught my attention or it kept me busy for five minutes of my time, which is also not a good thing. So I'm just like wasting my time, essentially. Right, let's see if that just like killed everything or not, but I was dying. <laughs> like actively dying. I was gonna sneeze and it'd be dead. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, so at some point I'd like to try and uh, just take six months off of uh, the internet. Like just no TV, no video games, no YouTube, no nothing. Just like, uh, you know, try and chill and like maybe read a book or just do I don't know what just try and live in the moment and try that uh, I might not even be able to do it I don't know like I'm super addicted to my phone like I, I basically can't put them up down uh, most of the time um, and if I do it's only because I'm doing something else it yeah and I'm only just looking for stuff to watch or stuff to buy or whatever it's like it's super unhealthy I'm not like learning anything you know what I mean um but even if I do, I'm gonna have to find something to focus my energy on, cause like I'm, you know, I'm like a machine, bro. Like I'm like, pop, 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 pop. Like I'm going all the time. Like my brain doesn't rest when I'm asleep. It, I'm, th I'm somewhere, doing something. Whether I want to be there or not, I'm there. So I'm always some doing something. Um, uh, I'm gonna get multivitamins at uh, Walmart. Maybe it'll help with like my chest, cause again, like. I'm sprinting back and forth, and I'm, like, hella stressed out, and, like, part of my chest is, like, hurt, and, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, like, something doesn't feel great in my chest. It feels like I'm sprinting for long periods of time, like, on the treadmill, and, like, I'm just, like, yo. Like, oh, this. like sometimes I can't even catch water. You know what I mean? Sometimes I, because someone stole my water bottle a while back, like, sometimes I can't even catch water. Like, it's bad. <laughs> so, it sucks. I'm gonna try and get multivitamins. Maybe that'll help me to feel a little bit better or something. I was legit like, I was thinking about getting baby aspirin, trying baby aspirin or something. Because again, I was not feeling the best. Like, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, maybe it'll help. Um, since I'm apparently either gonna get yoked at work, like I'm, I'm getting kind of swole. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, so I'm either gonna get yoked at work or I'm gonna kill over uh, dead. I guess one or the other. I don't know which one. Um, but I'm like, uh, in like a month or two, I might do like a video of like, I guess my body. I, I don't have like a lot of, I don't have before pictures, I guess, to really show it, but you'll be able to see like, to like stretch marks and some, some extra scan. But yeah, I used to be like a big dude, like 320 or something. Um, yeah, so at some point I'll reveal my true power. Um, I used to be like 320 and uh, now I'm probably like three, maybe 210, if even that. I went from like size 42 pants down to like, 30s, 32s. Um, yeah, so at some point I will uh, reveal my true power. Um, I don't know, and I was also thinking about it's something so stupid and like who gives up because I, you know, I don't fuck with people, but I was like, so like, yeah, if I was ever gonna do like dating or anything, like I would probably use like those pictures. You know what I mean? Especially if I'm valued. I don't know. Something wrong with me, we all know this. Um, yeah, like I said, I just. I, I struggle so hard with these, man. Like, I, I feel like I don't have any, ever have anything good to say, right? I don't have anything good to say, and a lot of times I don't even have anything good to show, I guess. That's just, I don't know, man. Um, yeah. I, I want to start, I need to start off the next one with, I appreciate all the fucking comments, yo. I'm just getting to talk to people. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't know. It's, it's, Yeah. <laughs> It's nice, yeah. Like you pop on your phone or whatever, and you actually have s something to say to somebody, type thing. Like I don't know. Like I said, I appreciate it. Um, appreciate everyone that watches, man. Even if you hate me, you know what I mean. Uh, like I, I don't even know how to describe it. Like I don't hate XQC, but I also don't exactly love XQC, and I watch some XQC. You know what I mean? Like I sometimes I hate them, sometimes I love them, but it is what it is. Like. So either way, no matter how you feel about me, um, 
Tuesday, July, so, bro. Like, uh, if you want to say something in the comment, you know, say whatever you want, man. Say potato. So, say hose. Like, anything you want. I don't know, man. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching, you yeah. uh, I'll be back next week. Hopefully, like, cross our fingers. <laughs> I only have to work four days this week. Hopefully, I don't kill over from that. Like, that's a weakness, son. That's a weakness. That's partially how I feel, son, but also probably need to be smart enough to know when you are doing too much and I'm not smart enough for that and I don't know I don't think I am so we'll just keep rolling and keep hoping I know I'm just biding my time because I know that eventually I will find something if I continue to stack $650 a week ish um, I eventually will find exactly what I'm looking for it's already out there it's already for sale I just haven't seen it. You know what I mean? So I don't know, bro. That's it. Hobo Larry out. My scuffy drifting. This is a super sick map. Like, it's probably my new favorite online drifting map. It's like Toge something? I, I can't remember, but it's in the BDC cars. My BDC tune in the tuning video was wrong. I really don't want to do the video a third time. I, for multiple reasons, I don't want people to think I'm like farming views for it. I it's just hate that I kind of put a bad tune in there, so I might put something in the comment like, hey, yo, different tire settings. Because apparently, I am stupid. So, and I can't read abbreviations, but that's standard operating procedure for working with, uh, you know, middle school educated hobo. <laughs> I don't know, dudes. I like that I can laugh at myself. It, it's at least helpful, man. You know, I can laugh at myself or find some level of joy in something. I don't know, but I could keep it rolling, you know what I mean? That's Scuffy360. Alright, yeah. See you guys.